Hello everybody. It's been so long I bet you thought I had disappeared. But I have been very busy. I um, actually got two new computers built. One for myself and one for the kids. And it is so nice. I mean our editing program just works. No glitches, no stopping, no freezing. It's just awesome. Awesome. So and I got a new office chair, finally. But, enough about that. We have more important things. The April Elder's Manual is out already. And we have the Elder's Letters. Um, so far, and thank you so much, Atlantis. Really appreciate, you know, you getting this information to us. And I will put the link down below. Um, he has a post on JehovahWitness.com with a link to the file for the English um, Elder's Manual and the Spanish. And so be sure to grab those right away because I believe they're only good for six days, seven days, something like that. So I'll put the link down below. Announcements and reminders. April 2024. Boy, it's been so long since I've done a video I almost forgot how to do it. <laughs> Revised Shepherd Book. We are pleased to inform you that a revised version of the Shepherd Book has been posted in the form section of the Documents tab on JW Hub. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, then they have some of the um, changes and revisions they have made in it. And I'm not going to read all of these because it's like a whole page. But I'm just going to hit some of the highlights. Um, the adjustments to handling serious wrongdoing as described in the video 2024 governing body update number two will appear in a future revision of the shepherd book. So, you know, I had done a video about that, but now they're saying that it's not in this shepherd book. It will be in a future revision. And I think um, they usually do another revision November, if I remember correctly. Okay. Um... There's no changes to chapter 14, 14 which is CSA. Uh, chapter 21, paragraph 8, inserted sentence stating that the local design construction department maintenance trainer may assist when a natural disaster or other circumstance affects the kingdom hall. So they can uh, help out. Bible studies. Recent reports indicate that in some lands the number of Bible studies is decreasing. OMG! I can't believe they're admitting that! In harmony with our commission to make disciples, we want to offer free, offer Bible studies at every appropriate opportunity. Please continue to take the lead in offering Bible studies and to encourage publishers to offer Bible studies at every appropriate opportunity. While public witnessing is an important aspect of our ministry, most Bible studies are started in the house to house work. Wow, so they're really going to be pushing Bible studies now. The thing is, though, is I think the general public, if they want, if they have any interest, I think what they're going to do is Google Jehovah's Witnesses, and even on their little tracks that they give, you know, go to jw.org for free Bible studies. Yeah, they're going to check it out. And if they go to Google or YouTube, they're going to find all of us. And contrary to what they say in their new um, April broadcast, and I'm hoping to get through that all and do another video about it. Hopefully Mike will join me. But it's like, we're whistleblowers. We're telling the truth. We're not opposers. Because, you know what? If anybody wants to, you know follow a religion fine J but just be aware of what is involved you know before you get involved in a religion like Jehovah's Witnesses know that you will be shut off from your friends and family no birthdays no holidays no blood transfusions all of that so you know that's all we want is you know just tell the truth watchtower just like the thing with Norway. 
they have a news item on JW.org about how the unconstitutional taking away their registration. You can still practice your religion, which is fine, but you just won't be getting the federal money. Okay, uh, coordinators of body of elders, announcement for congregations. Please ensure that the announcements for congregations are read at the next midweek meeting. <laughs> Bible studies. At your next elders meeting, please arrange to discuss what can be done to improve Bible study activity in the congregation. Well, you're going to have to get rid of the internet and Google and YouTube for your Bible studies to go up. Because... Let's face it, the only reason you're getting prisoners in prison to study the Bible is, well, nothing better to do. Um, okay, I'm not going to read this. Um, midweek meeting part, are you prepared for times of distress? Please ensure that the elder who is assigned the midweek meeting part, are you prepared for times of distress, during the week of May 6, 2024, is prepared to read to the congregation the information provided on the following page of this document. Also ensure that he is prepared to share with the congregation any additional information directed by the body of elders regarding disaster preparedness. For service overseers, posters advertising Bible courses. See, they're gonna be there's gonna be a huge push now for advertising Bible studies. Remind those sharing and public witnessing to to be alert to offer Bible studies at every appropriate opportunity. Okay, this is what they want to be read to the congregation. Information to be read to the congregation to the part, are you prepared for times of distress? As your family considers its disaster preparedness plans, please ensure that the secretary has up-to-date contact information for you and your emergency contact. Also, we have repeatedly seen good results when brothers and sisters are prepared with go bags and are ready to obey direction when they face various kinds of disasters. Please be sure that you have a go bag and review its contents at least once a year. When a disaster strikes, our brothers and sisters may be displaced from their homes. Thank you for generously helping those in need such as providing temporary accommodations or other practical assistance. We are very grateful for the hard work of disaster relief committees and others who assist with relief work. For congregations, worldwide campaign in September 2024. Guess what they're going to be pushing? Focus on starting Bible studies. I love it. I love it. Their Bible studies are down. Since the house-to-house -house work is a primary way to start Bible studies, please endeavor to share regularly in this form of ministry. Love it. Uh, Research Guide for Jehovah's Witnesses 2019 edition has been updated. Um, the Scriptures Explained section now contains references from 1986 to 2024. And there's a new song for the convention. Now I want to mention that I had a phone call, and I'm not going to mention details, but um, they are in touch with someone um, who is a gung-ho JW, and through family or something like that. Like I said, I'm not going to get into any details. But I want to thank you for leaving the message, because... This person has been recruited to volunteer for a special assignment. And apparently they are going to be going to every single branch in the world and teaching them how to encrypt their files. Now, I know, you know, a lot may not understand what that means. That means when you encrypt a file, it's harder to break into it. A lot of computers now have encrypted files. You know, there's an encrypted file folder on Windows 11 now. So you can put your files in there. And if somebody hacks into your computer, it, they're encrypted. You can't get them. So I thought that was very interesting. Because are they that worried about opposers? 
apparently. Apparently. Now, if the CSA wasn't a problem and they didn't have all these blue envelopes and files, why would they be so worried of someone hacking into their files? Right? Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. Now, I just want to comment. Um, somebody sent me a link to a video done by Michael. I'm not going to say his last name. But apparently he's a Christian, and he's done a video of Mike and Kim. Are they anti-Christians? And I just want to mention, we are not anti-Christians. We are not anti-Semitic. We are not anti-anything. We're anti-cult. That is what we're against. And any religious organization that claims to be God's religion, God's truth, whatever, you know, Allah's truth, whatever. But if they are abusing people, if they are hiding pervos that, and are not protecting kids, and this is what I find so distressing and disgusting because it's so sad that these type of people are Mike and Cam Christians. And these people have never asked us what we believe to begin with. And we've said before, we do still believe in a source of all. And a lot cannot separate, you know, the source of all from that book, you know, the Holy Scriptures. But, you know, I think it's sad that they are more interested in attacking us than they are in protecting kids. Because that that is one of our main, you know, missions here is to get these laws changed to protect kids. Let the world know, the general public know, we need to protect these kids. But no, they're more interested in attacking us. And they've been doing it for six years. Six years, you know, several, several of them. And I just wish they took some of that energy that they expend on attacking us and making videos and time and effort and all of this. Why don't you do some good with it? Because you're not going to stop us. So take that time and energy and put it into something good to help others. It doesn't matter what we believe. It's not about us. We don't care what anybody believes. You know what? Believe whatever you want, but don't try to force it on us because we're more, more focused on trying to protect kids. We're more focused on trying to teach the general public, cutting off the food supply to these cults. That is our goal. So thank you everybody so much for watching and I hope you all had a wonderful Easter weekend. Um, our kids are coming out tomorrow so we're going to have a family fun day. So you all have a wonderful week. We love you. Bye.